this is Laura GB and I'm here to do a quick walkthrough of a new experimental feature that's appeared in Power Automate and it is the dynamic content and expression editor. So first it's an experimental feature so let's turn those on first. Top right hand corner click on the cogwheel for settings and view all Power Automate settings and then here at the bottom here experimental features I'm going to turn them on be aware they're experimental so they might change they might vanish and they might not work 100% okay but this is a great start towards a new feature so let's click save and let's go and create ourselves a quick demo flow so instant flow and let's call it update demo and I'm just going to do a manual trigger and this flow is going to go and fetch the weather forecast and send us notification so new step this all looks the same and we're I'm going to type in there for weather and there we are get forecast for tomorrow so the location we want to get something from our trigger so over here on the right hand side I've got two new buttons there's an add a dynamic value and there is add an expression so let's go for the add a dynamic value and you see it mentions a keyboard shortcut control space so let's click into there and we've got a search box so I can type in lat to get the latitude type in a comma and this time press control space bar see we get the same box there and let's quickly search for longitude and there we are imperial will do fine next let's try calculation and using some functions to create an expression so on this one I'm going to do a quick compose and in my inputs here I'm going to press the FX button this time or I could have gone for control shift space and I get an expression box so I want to add one to today's date so and I also want to format it so the format comes first format date and time and let's put in a bracket and you see it puts in the pair the matching bracket to go with it I'm going to press return to put some lines in and a tab to tab it in so we can lay out our functions which is great and I'm going to go for add days so there it is it's giving us con it's giving us assistance in typing them in as well so I'm going to add days to can't spell it doesn't begin with an I'm going to add days to UTC now and I'm just going to add one day to that okay and then I'm gonna so that's the first part of my format date and time and the second part is the string so I'm going to put in a single quote and see it matches it with a closing quote and that's going to be dd hyphen let's put in three m's so that's given me that if I click outside the box it will close the um, editor I can then click on the formula and it'll bring it back up again and it remembers your line breaks and your tabbing in so that gives those and let's quickly send a notification so new step let's go and search for new notification so there we are send me a mobile notification and let's put in the message we're going to put into there weather but spelt wrongly really wrongly weather for and into here I want to put the result of the compose so control space bar so you've got the search box and you've got the accordion like style um, access to go through all your parts so weather for the output of the compose is and let's put in control spacebar is going to be from the forecast is the conditions so there we are that's run sorry so there we are that's finished and let's just do a quick test just to find out what the weather's going to be like tomorrow so i'm going to quickly run the flow And there we go, our flow. And it sent me out a message to say, 
the weather for the 27th of January is mostly cloudy. So that's looking at the updates for the dynamic content and expression editor. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now. Thank <laughs> you.